Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Tuesday Tip Surveying with Robert. So uh, today I thought what I would do is uh, show you guys some resources that Trimble has um, as far as um, when you're looking for information. So you've got a problem, you're trying to do a little research and you're trying to find it. I'm going to kind of point you in the right direction for some stuff, okay? So, um, and, and I'm, these links that I use... I'm going to put those in the notes of the, um, the video. So usually you have to hit the little down arrow, and then when you do, the it'll be in there. Uh, if you want to look at some of my videos, I've done that for you. Put some links in there for you. So anyways, um, let me get this set up. You guys watch this real fast, and uh, I'll get everything rolling here. Okay, so uh, let's start out with Trimble's website. So in the last video, I showed you guys um, some resources. So there's a support A to Z thing. So we go to Trimble's website, and we go up here to support and training. We go to support A to Z, and we wait for it to load. Okay, so uh, under the support A to Z, there's a lot of really good information in here um, about just about anything Turbo has. So uh, there's some ag stuff there. Uh, so you scroll on down through here and you're going to see just a little bit of everything. So um, even some old software that I used to use, uh, really don't use anymore, data transfer utility. Um, there's some probably some demi level firmware there or something. Um, as we go down, GPS Pathfinder, uh, Juno's, um, gosh, I don't know. There's um, just tons and tons of information here. Pivot, uh, which is reference station stuff. Uh, there's Rhinox right there. So if you want the Rhinox, uh, converter so you can uh, convert your data to Rhinox. Here's the current, here's the archive versions. So uh, you can download this. Um, let's say that you want to. There's some spectra precision stuff in here. There is um, Terra model stuff in here. There's golly. There's just tons of stuff. So here's the, the receiver. So let's say you've got an R8 GNSS receiver and you want to update the firmware in it or you want to see where the firmware is at. You can go to documentation and it's going to go to the release notes for the firmware. So you can look at the release notes and see if you're eligible for the firmware or not. Uh, you can go to downloads and um, you can download different things in here. So um, there are, this wind flash utility, for instance, is, uh, if you'll notice, it'll tell you uh, November 18th for this, date is November the 18th for this receiver. So that your warranty's gotta be 2018, apparently, for this to be able, for you to be able to use it. So um, wind flash utility, you download it. Um, what it does, puts a little program on your computer. Um, I probably this could be like a whole video in itself on how to load up firmware so if I had a receiver I could go in and I could load uh, software so here's some some different things each one of these was a download that I did off of this site so just to let you guys know um, while we're here here's solution center I almost forgot about this um, so the knowledge center if it finishes loading the page. Let's see if it loaded. Okay, so here's some information uh, on the Knowledge Center. Uh, some information I just put in GNSS. So actually, since I forgot about this, um, I'm going to put this on my list so you guys will have it. Okay, so um, data sheets, tips, you can just do a search in here and find all kinds of stuff. Um, 
it's nice that it finally loaded. Um, as you can see, there's information on just about everything in here. Great resource. Um, let's get out of here. Let's go to um, another great resource would be, let's just go from the bottom of the list up. Control copy, Control V. Let's go here. Trimble's Instagram. So Trimble's Instagram is going to have um, lots of photos and stuff. Now, is this going to be a whole lot of help to you, really? Eh, maybe not, but hey, it's got some cool pictures in here anyways, right? Different things different people are doing. Um, I think they just recently fired this up. I don't think this is um, something they've had for a while. So um, another great resource that I like to use is going to Trimble's Facebook. So here's the geospatial. Here's a little tip for you. You click on post, and let's say you're looking for something. Uh, let's see if there's anything under the GNSS. So here's some stuff on GNSS. Um, so if you got a problem with the FXL file, let's see if there's something here on that. Whoop, nothing on FXL. Sorry. Um, see about feature code. Nothing. That may be on Trimble's, the other site that I'm going to show you. Um, I know the X7 is on here. Information about the X7, which is brand new. Uh, TX8, if you want to look at some information on Trimble Scanner, that's in here. You just have whatever you search for, you can go here and look and see if you can find it. So, um, different resources and stuff for all this. A lot of times somebody will ask a question, and a lot of times it gets answered in here. That's a good way to find stuff. So, um, let's go to Business Center's Facebook page. Here's Business Center's Facebook page. Th same thing, you're going to go to Post. Let's see if we got anything on FXL in here. Ooh, I think I need to do a video on FXL files. And there we go, feature code. So we have some stuff on feature codes in here. So that's cool. Um, GNSS, what do we got? Some stuff in here. So if you're having a problem, this is this this is more than just your like typical Facebook Facebook page. There's a, a lot of information in here once you really get to dig, digging in here and finding out. And sometimes you can do a Google search, like you're having a problem. Um, I like you're having a problem with Opus. So here's some videos on Opus. Uh, if I had something on RTX. Um, hmm. So it's probably the processor. Yeah, it's probably going to be the processor you're finding. Anyways, do a search. You'd be amazed what you can find. So moving up the ladder here. Installation manager. So if you want to update your data collector, your R10s, or anything else, this is where you find Terminal Installation Manager. So you got a TSC3 or TSC2 with access, and you want to update it, you want to see if you can update it, you want to see if you're at the latest or whatever, so you can do it, um, do it here. So um, I could do a whole video on Installation Manager. Matter of fact, I may do one anyways. Um, this is where you would update your collectors and stuff like that. That's where you downloaded that. So let's get out of here. No, really, want to get out of here. Okay, so uh, installation manager, pretty important for your updates and stuff. Um, as you can see, there's quite a bit of information on here on this page. So moving on up. And I'm sure I've missed some resources, uh, but just give you a handful to get you started anyways. So here's 2017.23 for you guys still using it. This is a page that I've gone to many a times. So 
um, you can actually download the help files. Now, you know, like in 2017.23, the question mark, if you're in like inverse or stakeout or anything else, you can hit the question mark on there. When you hit the question mark, it'll jump you to the, um, actually to that spot in the help files, right? So if you want to print a paper copy, this is a great way to do it. Like if you want to know more about roads, here's roads. You can read all about it. Um, so uh, aerial imaging, if you want to know more about the aerial imaging stuff, um, uh, UX5HP might be some good information if you're using uh, an EB or something like that. I'm sure there's something in here. So if we jump to applications, so these are the different applications that load into Trimble Access. So um, they've got roads, which is probably the big one you're going to use. Probably a lot of guys are using pipelines right now. Um, monitoring is another big one. Um, there's each one of these that you can get. Uh, for instance, roads like $1,500 uh, for a license of it. So you can get that um, installed on your data collector. So partner applications, what this is, is these are people that have put together, I think it's called an SDK file. So you actually can do an SDK and create your own application to go into uh, Trimble Access. So that's what's happened here. So you've got buildings, which is kind of cool. Uh, you probably want to look at this and see what, um, you know, see what all it offers because I thought it was pretty neat. Um, how this works so kind of explains a little bit in there um, I think a couple of other ones that are pretty handy probably for sure is going to be the level me app so the level me is trig leveling so the USGS uh, we help them do some stuff um, they're wanting to trig level some stuff rather than run digital elevations to it and their tolerances are pretty tight so they were using I believe a half second one second half second gun and their tolerance was six thousandths uh, after doing some turns and using this app after a little bit of figuring out the procedure they were actually able to get that done so uh regional this is like some china stuff and this that and other um probably not going to use that so let's go right on up the road here Like I say, if I'm going too fast, don't worry about it. I'm giving you all these links. You can go look at it yourself. So here's a Trimble Geo with Spatial. So if you want to find something on like mobile mapping, and um, there's a neat one right there, how to get into scanning as a surveyor. Um, Trimble Vision and Auto Lock. Um, there's some really good webinars in here. So if you find one that you like, um, just click on it. It's going to give you a place to log in, and then it will give you access to it. Uh, I think they maybe they send you an email with a link. So a lot of good videos in here, and they go back pretty good ways. Um, whoops, there's 2015. So field to finish workflows in 2015. So that's pretty interesting. So you know all the webinars I call them power hours that Trimble does let me show you where that's stored at so if you ever missed one um, you're like man I missed it I wanted to watch that and I completely forgot go here so these go back to 2015 um, this will take you back to um, all the power hours that they've been doing so uh, there's one in here somewhere on um, grid to ground and I don't know exactly where it's at it seems like it was done it seemed like it was done like last year could have been year before um, not exactly sure site calibrations that could be pretty interesting um, this may be it right here defining working with grid and ground coordinates that may be the one Trying to remember the guy's name, White, like Mark White, maybe? I'm not real sure. From Duncan Parnell? Can't remember his name off the top of my head. I'm drawing a blank. Um, man, he did a fabulous job on this webinar. You guys really need to watch that one if you don't understand grid ground. I mean, he lays it out for you. It's really good. Really like that webinar. Um, 
Let's see what we got here. So here's some YouTube resources. So if you're into the forensic stuff, um, here's you some resources. Not a whole lot of videos, but there are a few on here. Um, so I recommend watching these. Um, let's jump into this one. Whoops. Try that again. Oh, let's go up there. Spectra. So this is going to be your Survey Pro stuff. So they, there again, they I guess they just recently started this. Um, so um, they've got some videos on here for you to watch. Pretty cool stuff. Um, Terminal Geospatial. So this is going to be a little bit different from Business Center. So there's going to be um, some good videos on here. As you can see, they've done a good job of categorizing them. Um, overview, uh, survey and GNSS, SX10, 3D scanning, mobile mapping, info, which is like US Master, um, I think. Pretty sure info is. Yeah, info, info, yep. Um, Info UAS Master, Info UAS Master 3D, Real Time Networks, Ecognition. If you want to know anything about this stuff, great place. And then, last but not least, Terminal Business Center. Um, they have got an enormous amount of videos on here. Um, if we get to look, and I don't know how many they've got, but there is a bunch of videos and um, all these videos are really good I highly recommend if you want to know anything about Business Center this is a place to do it okay so with that being said the other thing I wanted to show you um, for you Business Center users out there um, just real quick Tuesday tips are supposed to be short this one's not so short not short as I thought it was gonna be Okay, so um, let me see where it's at. Tutorials. Okay, so it's going to take you to this page. Let me uh, copy that and I'm going to put it over here on my list. Okay, so download all tutorials. So these tutorials, basically what they are, um, is it's going to be a PDF. It's going to be the job file. It's going to be the business, business center project. Everything you need to do this, it, it's going to have everything for the TBC side, all the data, and then you're going to get a PDF that actually explains the whole process to you. So, man, this is probably worth its weight in gold right here. So, anyways, um, man, that is about all I got for you right now. So, I hope this helps. Uh, this video is a little longer than I planned on, but there are a lot of resources for Trimble out there. So, uh, I d probably didn't hit all of them, but I tried to get as many as I could. So anyways, you guys, as always, be safe. Um, and, um, you know, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video, huh? So God bless.